Hello again, welcome back here on my little channel now in the year 2018. And I first have to say sorry, but it has been quite a while that I'm putting up a new video. This is mainly caused due to the bad weather outside and it's always dark when I'm coming back um, from work. So I finally decided to do a new video, but this time indoor. And uh, today we're gonna talk about on how to transport your Bayang Toys X21 copter. And um, in uh, my case, I'm using this great backpack here, uh, which I also purchased, of course, from Gebest. And um, I would like to show you today what's inside there and, and how I decided to handle things here. Maybe there's something for you as well that you might think is useful. And of course, uh, like always, if you have any questions, just leave them here in the comments. So we take a look here um, on that uh, backpack. It's um, yeah, a brand called YX or YK, <laughs> I can't really tell. Um, it has here uh, some storage room on the side to place a bottle or something. I just placed the, uh, the belt for the, well, I don't know, the belt for the belly here. Um, but I also placed a bottle here already sometimes. Um, here you have a compartment. Um, in my case, it for example stores here a little battery tester. I will link that as well. It's very useful uh, to check for your batteries as well. Here I have a LiPo guard as well. So I can show you. Here I have my batteries placed in my lipos we can also check one i labeled mine to know which i already used you simply use the balanced plug here connected and you can see it's charged to 97 percent you can check the single cells for the voltage and you can also see um, if you click for the for mode if there is a um, on this form for the single cells, this is the maximum uh, and minimum voltage of a cell. And you can see, yeah, you can choose also different types. It's very simple, but not expensive and very useful if you maybe did not label your um, batteries. And even if you label and forgot which one you already used. So what's else in there? Here the LiPo safety bag for transportation with my batteries in there. And I also have a little landing pad here as well, which is also fits very nice in there. And um, yeah, I'm gonna just leave it like that. Oh, come on, I'll show it as well to you. I really like that one. It's very useful now in the winter if you are trying to land on snow. There are four little, um, I don't know the English word here. Yeah, it's called a herring in, in Germany. I don't know if it's the same in your language or in English. So this is the pad here, it flips like that. I just um, put it on the ground then. And here you can uh, fix it to the ground as well. So it will actually not fly away. So just leave it like that. And have a look what's else in there. Um, here you can see the compartment a little bit. Um, you can place some pins, uh, pens here. Here I place the um, battery tester. I also have my charger in there for the Bayang toys, always ready. And this little case I also purchased on Amazon, I think. Um, I put in here six batteries for spare in case I'm out of battery with my transmitter. So put that back here and have a look at the big compartment for the drone here on the rear side. You open the whole rear side here and flip it open. Um, first of all, as you can see, how I arranged this is actually um, 
you, you get a, a couple of single parts here uh, you have to arrange yourself um, and this is uh, what I came up with to actually be able to um, yeah, transport the drone safely. Um, okay, you have here that little belt that keeps the drone in place, it's upside down. So I just uh, open it here. So um, first thing that comes out here is actually the case for my camera. I really like cases. I even get <laughs> ridiculed by my colleagues sometimes. So here's the Firefly 8S. Um, here's some cables and stuff. And uh, here's a little mounting screw for the Firefly I am using. Here's the charge and everything. Uh, and um, I always carry it around, of course, in the case. And put it out if, I'm, uh, if I need it, just to have it a little bit more secure here. Um, you can get this case of, uh, of course, also on Gear Best as well. Just put it back. It fits perfectly here on that side. On the other side, I have my props here. This one's uh, the ones I mainly use. These are the uh, Phantom props, the 940, uh, 50, uh, 49, uh, 4950. I mean, here are the original ones with the caps and also the tool to tighten them but I prefer these ones as you are much quicker to actually um, get the thing in the air and I think here's also additional spare part so enough props to actually uh, yeah be ready to fly so here's the transmitter now um, we're gonna have a look at that one just give that little strap here I, I'm using but actually it, it can't flip down as if this one here is shut it will just press against the inside but I've still fixed it here so here the transmitter um, yeah you might notice I do not have um, the, the antenna on of course I actually placed the antenna in here I do know where are a couple of mods um, where you place it uh, outside, but I do not really have tested it yet or see a big advantage on that, as uh, the range is limited anyway, um, around 400 meter, this is as far as I um, got as well. So put that by side here. And here in that little bag, which is also included, I carry around the rest of the things here. This is in another video cable here. Here is the FPV holder, like this here. And here I have my Hawkeye little pilot. I yeah, somehow modified here the, um, the original packaging a little bit. Um, used, uh, yeah, <laughs> actually for an HDMI cable, I think, or something like that. A bag for this, yeah, to have that nice and secure. As I already mentioned, I like cases. <laughs> and yeah, I can just place it here now with my transmitter. The little Hawkeye little pilot also fits here. And I also have the antenna in here. And I have some lanyard if I need it. And a couple of other things like some rubber gums to fix other cameras, a pen and whatever is in there. I think, yeah, here micro SD to USB reader. We can put a lot of things here in, of course. So let's come to the final part here. This is how you actually store the drone. Um, I'm using a little bit of um, bubble wrap here, a bubble wrap bag to fix the gimbal. So it, it, it can't really move that much and does not flip around. And yeah, you can get the drone out like this here. Just move the whole thing away. Of course, I usually uh, do pre-mount the camera as well. Right now it's, it's not mounted, uh, but I'm doing that at home usually. And yeah, so it's quite easy to get the whole set up ready and now all I have to do usually is of course 
put the props on and you're ready to go. So yeah, uh, I'm going to repackage the whole thing as I'm not able to fly in my uh, flat here anyway. Um, but I hope you guys um, maybe got some ideas from me and can use something. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully I can uh, do some new videos quite soon. Um, I have some ideas of what I would like to show you. For example, a comparison of the new firmware for the Firefly, uh, which I'm actually filming on right now. Um, uh, the, they improved their gyro, so uh, there will be a video soon. Uh, I already did one, but uh, the well was just too bad and I, uh, it was way too much wind. <laughs> And um, yeah, and also it started to rain, so I could only finish half of the video. So uh, I really promise there will be uh, some video um, soon. And um, so, and of course, thanks for uh, all the subscribers. Um, I think I reached uh, over 130 now. Um, I'm also preparing something to uh, yeah make the channel a little bit more professional and. I guess there will be also a little giveaway, so just keep an eye open and I hope to see you sec uh, soon back again, again on the channel. So thanks for watching and if there's anything you'd like to know, just leave a comment. I try to answer everyone here. So yeah, thanks and bye-bye.